today I'm going to show you guys my autograph haul from Phantasm. Um, I've got a few stories, a little bit of video, and a lot of pictures. It was a good time. Let's get to it. And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling, Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel, Side Hustle Cinema here, and I just got back from Phantasm. I've already done the video with my, you know, my collectibles and movie haul, and I also wanted to do a separate video and show off the autograph haul, which is, you know, one of the main reasons why people want to go to conventions is for the celebrities and the autographs. I ended up with uh, nine autographs, um, but I got one for a friend as well, so ten overall. Um, I'll show you uh, everything I I picked up. Uh, for the most part, it, it was really a good panel, and the crowds were pretty small, and that made for like an amazing experience. Uh, you got so much face time with the celebrities. Uh, you got tons of. Uh, there was almost no wait. I I, I got all the celebrities uh, that I wanted um, within probably about an hour and a half. And at other conventions, you're waiting an hour and a half sometimes for just one. And then the, the handlers would just, you know, hurry you along and, and get you right out of there. This was a situation where uh, there was only two celebrities that I ended up, you know, having a little bit of a line for. Uh, but everyone else, I, I was just, it was walk right up and they gave you plenty of time. I mean, it was... It was really good, and some, some really surprised me. I was going to wear my, you know, my my camera glasses right up to the um, to the uh, celebrities, and you know, just kind of record whatever it is I was I was um, what it, what I was seeing. Um, I thought about it though. I, I kept debating on it whether I should do that or not, and ultimately I decided not to. And the main reason was is, you know, they, they have you take that picture pretty quickly. And I kind of wanted to not have the glasses on with the picture. And I, and I didn't want to keep taking them on and off. And, um, you know, there was a little bit of fear of, you know, them seeing that you're recording without permission. And, you know, it was, it was such a cool vibe and everything. I just didn't, I just didn't want to risk it, honestly. But I still got, like, uh, they were still pretty cool about, you know, shooting a little bit of video. I had my uh, my nephew's wife, uh, she kind of went through the line with me because I didn't want to have to take the selfies myself. So, yeah, I asked her to go through the line with me and uh, she took a lot of the photos. And she's in a couple of them as well. Um, it, I think it kind of is nice to have a, a girl with you uh, if you're going to go to these tables. I think it softens it up a little bit, especially for the female celebrities. I, I think so. Um, so, and and she really hit it off with some of them, and and got them kind of cracking up. And it was it was just overall, it was kind of it made it more enjoyable. Uh, so thanks, Kelsey, for helping me out with these uh, autographs. Um, yeah, it was it was a good time. So the first one I grabbed was uh, was Stacy Nelkin, and I already had Tom Atkins uh, sign my uh, Halloween 3 poster already. I already had his autograph on, on, the, on the poster. And so I just, I brought the poster with me just looking to get her autograph on that same poster. And so that's what I had her sign. And that was pretty cool. I mean, she, you know, wrote it down at the little inscription there at the bottom. Um, I should be showing that now. And, uh, you know, it it was nice. It, it's in green. I, I like this the area that, you know, we chose. Uh, it shows up pretty good in the frame. Uh, she just really seemed to, you know, enjoy the experience of you know being at these uh, conventions I, th I think she's been doing them for quite a long time so you know it's a pretty easy way to make some money 
then we had Tom Atkins, and he had already signed my poster, or I already had his autograph on the on the poster that Stacy Nelkin signed. And so I really didn't anticipate getting his autograph this go around. But I'd um, I spoke with um, Pop's Movie Dungeon, and I was telling him, you know, about the uh, the convention and and everything going on. And uh, he said he would really love to have, you know, a Tom Atkins autograph. And I showed him uh, the one that I had, and he thought that that was amazing. Uh, so when they had the same poster there, I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity. I'll go ahead and pick it up for my buddy. And, uh, yeah, I, I uh, had Tom Atkins sign his poster. Now he wanted the inscription "Thrill Me," which is a line from *Night of the Creeps*, and Tom Atkins called me out on it. But <laughs> I told him I, was, you know, I, I told him I was getting it for a friend. I said he liked both movies, but he won the Halloween three posters. So, um, yeah, so I got the Halloween three poster with "Thrill Me," and uh, and Tom Atkins' um, autograph on there. So that that was pretty cool. And uh but while I was looking at the posters, I saw that Night of the Creeps poster. And man does that poster look nice. And I love that movie as well. So I was like, you know what? I, I gotta go ahead and get this poster. And uh, you know, might as well get it signed by Tom Atkins. So I ended up with uh, getting him to sign a poster for me, and I went ahead and had him do the throw me line again, uh, you know, since it is from <laughs> Night of the Creeps, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a great poster, and uh, awesome artwork, and I'll definitely be hanging that one up somewhere. And you know, hey, you can never have too many Tom Atkins autographs. <laughs> Uh, I got about 10 minutes with Tom Atkins. Uh, I used to live in Pittsburgh, and that's where I went to uh, I went to college in Pittsburgh, and I, I lived there, you know, for a number of years. And well, that's where he lives is just outside of Pittsburgh, and so um, yeah, we were just talking about you know, well Pittsburgh mostly and the town I used to live in, uh, Mount Lebanon, and so yeah, we we had a a good conversation talked a lot about you know all the movie stuff that you know goes on uh currently in pittsburgh and you know all the movies that were filmed there and, and it was just a good conversation and there was no one behind me and it was just uh you know just free and open it was great probably could have had more time but i don't you know i didn't want to be a hanger on you know i felt like there was a good opportunity to end it, you know, you don't want to embarrass yourself, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be asked to leave, so, but it looked like everybody was having a good time, so I feel, I feel okay about it. Uh, I think the next, uh, booth that I stopped at was, was Sean Clark's booth. Uh, now, you may not know Sean Clark, but he's a, he's a YouTuber, and he also happens to be an autograph agent. For most of the people that was at the the convention, uh, he also works with a ton of the Walking Dead cast, just several others, you know, Skeet Ulrich, Matthew Lillard. There's a whole bunch that, of people that he works with. He's he's got a, a huge uh, client list, and he also has a YouTube channel, Malfunction, and I'll put it here on the screen. Chances are, if you have you know some horror DVDs, then most likely he's going to be in some of your special features. I know a lot of the new um, Halloween 4Ks that everyone's getting. There's a Horrors, Horrors Hollowed Grounds uh, featurettes on there. And that's Sean Clark. He's the one that shot those videos. And he hosts them. He goes around to different filming locations. He's did all the Halloweens. And uh, those... Uh, those special features are on the the new discs. He also does a podcast, Thing with Two Heads. He does it with Christopher Nelson. Uh, now, Chris Nelson was supposed to be at this convention as well. But Chris Nelson is 
a highly sought after special effects master. Um, he's worked on Guardians of the Galaxy. He did Halloween uh, Kills. He's doing Halloween Ends. He did Halloween 2018. Um, he worked on Fear Street. I mean, he's the top right now. You know, when people talk about like Tom Savini, you know, Rick Baker, and, and all these other, you know, kind of OG special effects guys. I mean, Chris Nelson's been around forever, and he's still on top. And, uh, yeah, so if you if you got one of those Halloween Kills masks, he sculpted it. Uh, my plan was to get one of those Halloween Kills masks and have him sign it. But, unfortunately, you know, he got another movie. Because it was the first thing I said to Sean uh, when I went to the booth. I was like, what happened to Chris? And uh, he said he got another movie. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, he wasn't able to be at this convention. But I did um, ask Sean for an autograph, and his autographs were free. And uh, so he, he gave me an autograph, but because I was, a, you know, he knew I was a fan of, of uh, you know, his channel and the podcast, because we, we talked for a few minutes about the podcast. Yeah, I was going to give him my best uh, Paul and Marty impression. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Paul and Marty? Paul and Marty. <laughs> And yeah, so he gave me a, um, a picture that already was signed by Chris Nelson. Um, he had he had a few of those, so he pulled it off the bottom of the stack. Said he had a few of those for people that were you know big fans of the of the podcast and, and Chris. So I was super excited to get that. I was uh, felt very lucky and and um, you know just couldn't thank him enough that that was that was great and uh, really nice guy too and uh, yeah so he you know he went ahead and personalized that one to me um, all the best Todd Uh oh name reveal <laughs> yeah it's true my name is not side hustle cinema <laughs> uh, yeah it's Todd I wasn't you know Never really intended to keep it a secret. Um, I just like doing the side hustle cinema thing. Um, so I, I've revealed it in a few streams here and there. So it's it's no big deal, um, you know. So it's, it's whatever. <laughs> uh, the next autograph I got, um, I didn't think I'd be getting it right at the the time I got it. I went to Nick Castle's uh, stand, which was right beside Sean Clark's, and he wasn't there. I didn't see him. I, I you know, he he was there like a few minutes before, but I didn't see him there, and so I, you know, I didn't know where he went. And I just happened to be walking by his table. I was kind of looking at all the different pictures he had to, you know, for you to get signed, and all of a sudden I, I feel. Um, someone like put their arm on on my on my shoulder like around me like this and I turned my head and it's freaking Nick Castle yeah he just he just comes up and he just puts his arm around me like that and he's like uh, you want to get something signed young man <laughs> I said yes I sure do and I was totally just fanboying out and just freaking out you know couldn't believe it you know Nick Castle right there the shape the original you know OG Michael Myers and uh, you know he's he also directed Last Starfighter which you know I always kind of loved that movie too and um, and Major Pain uh, you know that's uh, that that's that was a funny movie I enjoyed that one but with Nick Castle it's all about Halloween so uh, I had him sign my, or I had him sign a, uh, you know, it's 11, 11 by 17 uh, Halloween Kills poster. Here you go. And I just had him sign it, the shape, you know, well, Nick Castle, and then the sh write the shape underneath it. Yeah, super, super nice guy. We, we talked a little bit about, um, 
you know, we talked a little bit about Last Starfighter, um, but when, you know, Kelsey was there taking the picture and, and, uh, well, you know, I don't think she really knew who Nick Castle was, honestly, but she was a big fan of Major, Major Payne. So when she sees Major Payne, she, <laughs> she kind of starts freaking out and she's like, oh, were you in Major Payne? <laughs> I said no, you know. It's like he directed it, <laughs> and uh, so. But he got a big kick out of that, you know. So it kind of loosened, you know. It just really loosened everything up. Like I said, there, there really wasn't like you know any big lines or anything. So you got some FaceTime, and uh, it, it was it was it was just a cool experience. I mean, you know, he was kind of laughing. Uh, I think I think they kind of appreciate sometimes when it's not all like Halloween. Like if your all your questions are just Halloween, I think they get a little bored of that. So you know when you mix it up and you go the the opposite direction and talk about like one of their lesser things, I, I think they just appreciate it more. Right beside his booth was PJ Souls. She was at lunch though, so. Uh, wasn't able to get her autograph right then, uh, but I went right next to her, and it was uh, John Michael Graham. Now I wasn't really—he was one of the ones I was on the fence about because, you know, as an actor, you know, I guess he's done some other stuff. I don't really know what he's done. I haven't really looked it up. Maybe he's done something cool. I don't know, but. Um, you know, he was Bob from Halloween. You know, the um, PJ Soul's boyfriend, the one who, you know, gets killed in the kitchen, and then Michael puts on the the ghost sheet with Bob's glasses. And uh, so that's you know that's uh, John Michael Graham. And uh, well, he didn't have anyone in his line either. So um, and honestly, it was going so good I just wanted to keep it going you know it the low crowds honestly probably made me overspend you know I, I bought a few more than I probably would have otherwise but again super nice guy you know he was there um, I didn't really know what to talk to him about but he just he asked like some loosen up questions like where are you from you know um, Things like that. I asked him how he's enjoying the the um, the convention, you know, because it's it's a new convention, you know, it hasn't been around. So um, I asked him how he was enjoying it. He said it's been, you know, that it's it was kind of a nice change of pace. There's not, you know, he talked about it not being quite as busy and how there, you know, it's not a big rush. And that you could take a little more uh, time with things. I mean, I guess they don't make as much money, but, you know, it probably takes a lot of stress out. I mean, they could take a longer lunch if they want. They can uh, mingle and interact more if they want. And uh, they're not under pressure to, you know, sign, photo, sign, photo, sign, photo. So I went down to Diane Franklin's booth next. And, um... Man, am I glad I did. I was, I, I thought about not going there because, you know, the amount of money I was spending, but, but she was one of the ones I originally kind of wanted to get, and uh, it's because I'm a huge fan of Better Off Dead. I mean, I love that movie. That's, that's it's probably one of my favorite John Cusack movies, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really glad I did. Uh, she was, she was so much fun. Uh, I definitely spent the most time at her booth than anyone else's and it was mostly her doing I mean so she explains you know her fee was thirty dollars but for forty dollars uh, you can be in a book of hers that she has coming out in February uh, it's a book about you know the behind the scenes stuff the making of better off dead and I guess her experiences in at conventions and this was one of the last conventions I think she said that she was going to be 
uh, taking submissions for the book. And what it was, was she would pose in the picture with you and she has the coat and the hat. You'll see it in the photo, you know, the autograph that I got. And she's got the coat and the hat. And she said that she could put it on or I could put it on. <laughs> I don't know what she thought. Like, you know, she weighs 100 pounds. <laughs> there was no way I was getting in her little coat. That would have been a Chris Farley moment all over. Just bad guy in a little coat. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. So I didn't even attempt to get into her coat. So I said, no, no, you wear the coat. That'll be fine. You know, we'll post her the picture that way. And she she talked a lot to Kelsey. She, uh, she called Kelsey over to get into the photo, and I didn't mind. I mean, it was, uh, you know, we were all having a good time. And it, it really made everything just super light super funny yeah her assistant was actually kind of funny too she she talked a little bit which was interesting because like you know you didn't hear a word from any of the other handlers all they would ever do is just take money and that's it you know but uh yeah this this um yeah they, they kind of had a whole setup there um they took a whole bunch of, of photos uh quite a few um like we took a bunch and then she's like, hey, let's just take some more. And I get it because she wants this, she wants a good photo for her book. So the deal is, is um, she gave me a, like a, an email address. And I have to pick out the picture that I want to send to her. And, you know, there's a couple things I got to um, put on there, like gives my permission and stuff and that you know it's not a paid thing or anything like that and that uh, she can use it for the book so you know I went through that and got that information and we took a bunch of photos there, there's actually some pretty good ones in there and uh, yeah so uh, it was a it was a cool experience I like that she you know had the coat and the jacket from the movie uh, I think this was her favorite movie to talk about you know she's also been in Bill and Ted's uh, excellent adventures you know one of the the girlfriends and uh, you know she's been in a few other um, you know notable movies as well Th this was the one I liked and I have a feeling this was the one that she liked the best too uh, so finally PJ Souls came back so I went back to her booth and uh, had her sign the uh, the other half of that photo with uh, John Michael Graham and uh, it was it was nice getting to see her too. I mean, I was the first person that she's you know uh, took in right after she came back from lunch, and uh, there was about five or six people in line uh, to get stuff signed by her. So um, I did talk a little bit about um, a couple of her, her other movies. She had a photo up there from Stripes. And she had a photo up there from Rock and Roll High School. And, you know, I loved both those uh, movies as well. You know, I've, I've got I've got those. And, um, yeah, she did make a little comment in the, in the video when I was talking about um, those movies a little bit. And she, you can hear her kind of say, like, yeah, I, I, I do... Uh, I've done other things, you know, besides Halloween. You got your Rip Randall stuff, I love it. Yes. Right, all that's good too. Yeah, right. Yeah, I just don't have Halloween. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. And that's what I'm talking about, like, at these conventions, you know, for the most part, that's what she gets is Halloween, you know, and of course she's only, 
you know, she's pretty much famous for the one scene, you know, where she drops the sheet. Uh, I'm sure she likes to talk about movies that she actually really got to act in and kind of start in, you know. So it was good to talk to her a little bit about those other things, but, you know, there was a little bit of a line for her, so I didn't get as much FaceTime as I would like to have had. And, uh, yeah, and then I went to, um, down to James Jude Courtney. He had gotten back from his, uh, photo op, and he was pretty cool, too. Um, I had him sign the, uh, the Halloween Kills poster with, uh, with Nick Castle. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought that that was the way to go, you know. I thought about getting like a whole cast sign photo, like get doing the original Halloween poster and just getting everyone to sign it. James Jude Courtney's not in the original one. I don't know. I, I like the way I split it up. I like just having the two the two Michael Myers on the one poster and then giving, you know, PJ Souls and, and uh John Michael Graham their own photo. I, I thought that was the way to go. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stories. I hope you enjoyed uh, the photos. Uh, I had a great time. It was really fun, you know, getting to meet the celebrities, getting to spend that FaceTime with them. Well, I've, I've rambled on for a while now. It's been kind of a long video. Hopefully you guys hung in there. And, uh, yeah, so a great time at Phantasm. Can't wait for next year already. Um, until then, you guys uh, have fun, stay safe, keep watching those movies, and I'll catch you on the next one.